t equal to e a x times c sub 1 cosine b x plus c sub 2 sine b x. Okay? So, in this solution, what is a? Take note that your r sub 1 is equal to 2 plus i and r sub 2 is equal to 2 minus i. Okay? So, this a plus b i, a minus b i. So, your a here is 2. So, we have y is equal to e raised to 2x times cos c sub 1 cosine of b. But what is b? That is 1. Okay? b i ito, that is i, meaning your b is 1. So, this is cosine x plus c sub 2 sine of bx of x. Okay? And that is now the solution to problem number 1 of case number 3. Well, tayo ng papel. Now, let's go to case at problem number 2 of or example number 2 of case number 3. Number 2. Determine the solution of d cube plus 9d y is equal to 0. So letter A, the auxiliary form is written as m cube plus 9m is equal to 0. Factoring m, we have m times m square plus 9 is equal to 0. So the roots could be m is equal to 0 and m square plus 9 is equal to 0 or m square is equal to negative 9 and m is equal to plus and minus 3i. Okay? So we have r sub 1 equal to 3i, r sub 2 equal to negative 3i, and r sub 3 equal to 0. Okay? Letter B, applying the generalized form of solution. We have y is equal to e raised to ax times c sub 1 cosine bx plus c sub 2 sine bx plus c sub 3 e raised to r sub 3 x because we have a real and distinct root for the equation, uh, the, the auxiliary equation. Okay, so we have y is equal to a raised to a. But what is a? a plus bi dapat to, a minus bi. So meaning your a is 0. Okay, times c sub 1 cosine b is 3x plus c sub 2 sine of b, that is again 3 x plus c sub 3 e raised to r sub 3 is 0. Okay? Therefore, the solution is equal to e sub 0 is 1, c sub 1, cosine 3x plus c sub 2, sine 3x plus c sub 3 since e sub 0 is 0. It's 1, I mean. Okay. So that answers example number two of case number three. Now let us have example number three. Determine the solution of d cube 
plus 3d square plus 9d minus 13y is equal to 0. Again, the auxiliary form is m cubed plus 3m square plus 9m minus 13 is equal to 0. So what will be the roots of this? So it will give us a root of r sub 1 is equal to negative 2 plus 3i. r sub 2 is equal to negative 2 minus 3i. And r sub 3 is equal to 3. So that will be the roots. How did you arrive on this? That will be your assignment. Kayo na ang mag-factor out niyan. Kung paano tayo nag-arrive sa roots na ganito. Maliwanag. Okay? Now, based on the generalized form of solution, let us have this as letter B. Okay? Wherein we have y is equal to e raised to ax times c sub 1 cosine bx plus c sub 2 sine bx plus c sub 3 e raised to r sub 3 x. Kasi, again, meron tayong distinct and real root. So we have y is equal to e. But what is a here? Your a here is negative 2, and your b is equal to 3. So we have e raised to negative 2x times c sub 1 cosine of b, but that b is 3, x plus c sub 2 sine of 3x plus c sub 3, e. r sub 3 is 3, x. And the solution should be, e raised to negative 2x, c sub 1, cosine 3x, c sub 2, sine 3x, plus c sub 3, e raised to 3x. Dapat wala itong parenthesis. Okay? So that is the solution for uh, example number 3, number 3 of case number 3. Now let us have case Number four. Okay? So, if the conjugate complex roots A plus B, I occur P times, in the auxiliary equation, phi M is equal to zero, the general, the general solution is A raised to AX times c sub 1 plus c sub 2x plus c sub 3x square, etc. Then cosine bx plus k sub 1 plus k sub 2x plus k sub 3x square plus k sub 4x to cube, etc. Sine bx this time. So to generalize, the solution to the equation is y is equal to e raised to ax c sub 1 plus c sub 2 x plus c sub 3 x square up to c sub p x raised to p minus 1 cosine bx plus k sub 1 plus k sub 2 x plus k k sub 3 x square plus plus k p okay x raised to p minus 1 close parenthesis this time sine bx okay so let us have Example number one. Find the solution. D to the fourth 
plus 18d square plus 81 y is equal to 0. Okay? The auxiliary equation is m, letter A, m to the fourth plus 18m square plus 81 is equal to 0. And what will be the roots? The roots of this, okay, get to gawin natin, ha? Para makita nyo kung ano nangyari dito. So this m to the fourth plus 18m square plus 81. Okay? So we have, we can write this as m square square plus 18m square plus 9 square is equal to 0. Para hindi na kayo mahirapan mag-factor out. Okay? is equal to 0. So, if we're going to assume m square be equal to, say, n na lang. n na pinakamalapit. So, this becomes n square, okay, plus 18n plus mm -hmm, 9. So, pinagkatanggal natin yung mga square. And we could factor this out. 9 square, I mean. So, we have N Okay. Mag-quadratic equation lang tayo. A is 1. B, 18. C is 81. Tama ba? Or we have N is equal to negative 18 plus and minus the square root of 18 square minus 4 times 1 times 81. Divided by 2 times 1. Okay. So we have n is equal to negative 18 plus and minus 81 times 4 is 3i Wait lang Paano ba yung factor nito? <laughs> Nalimutan ko na algebra ko And then anyway, sige Aha So how are we going to factor this out? This one So ito yon. Pwede yan Ito kasi, pwede siya maging m square plus 9 times m square plus 9. Yun lang pala yun. Huwag na natin gamitin ito. So, we can this factor this out as m square plus 9 and m square plus 9 is equal to 0. We're in m square is equal to negative 9. m is equal to plus and minus 9. And for this one, we have m is square plus 9 is equal to 0. m is equal to plus and minus 9. In this case, we have r sub 1 and r sub 3 para hindi tayo mahilo is 
3i, negative 3i, and r sub 2, r sub 4, is equal to 3i, negative 3i. In this case, r sub 1 is equal to r sub 2, which is equal to 3i, and r sub 3 is equal to r sub 4, which is equal to negative 3i. <coughs> Excuse me. And the solution, therefore, based on this, is e raised to ax, y is equal to e raised to ax, but what is a? a is 0, times c sub 1 plus c sub 2 x i cosine b 3x plus c sub 3 plus c sub 4x sine 3x and the final solution y is equal to c sub 1 plus c sub 2 x cosine 3x plus c sub 3 plus c sub 4x sine 3x. And that is the solution for example number 1 of case number 4. Again, at the end of the module, you'll find the auxiliary or supplementary problems that you have to answer. So, kagaya ng ginagawa natin sa differential equation before, yung mga solution to these supplementary problems must be submitted. Yung mga malalayo through courier, yung mga malalapit, pwedeng dalhin sa pwesto namin sa palengke. Okay? Open naman yon from Monday to Friday. At mag announce ko sa GC natin kung ah... Uh, Tawag dito, hindi bukas yung tindahan. And another thing, yung mga hindi pa nagjo-join sa Google Classroom, I will be sending again the link to our Google Classroom. And kailangan mag-join kayo sa Google Classroom because I am planning to give you a quiz this coming week. By next week, I'll be giving you your first quick quiz about module number one and module number two. And I will be sending to you your module number 3 and module number 4 later. Maliwanag. So, that is for now. Okay? Uh, I will be announcing also when is the submission of the supplementary problems. Thank you and good night.